This video will demonstrate how to stain a new unfinished cabinet door and in our next video we will apply polyurethane to that door. Start by inspecting the door and removing any dust or lint with a clean cloth or compressed air. Place the door on a suitable disposable surface like a drop cloth or old sheet for the staining and lacquering procedure. For this example video, we'll be staining a red oak raised panel unfinished kitchen cabinet door with the Minwax Golden Oak Stain. Then we'll finish the door with two coats of Minwax Polyurethane. Although we will be sharing some tips that work well for us, you should read the labels on the cans of stain and polyurethane for drying times and second coat procedures. Also, take the time to read the cautions Minwax has printed on the cans. We will be applying the stain with an inexpensive foam brush, but it can also be applied with a bristle brush or a clean rag. We'll mix the stain thoroughly by shaking the can, but with polyurethane never shake the can, as poly should only be mixed by gentle stirring to prevent introducing bubbles onto the finished surface. One additional tip, it's a good practice to first apply your stain to a piece of scrap wood of the same type used in your doors. If you'd like to have some wood scrap included with your order, just ask and we'll be happy to include a few pieces at no charge. It's also common practice to stain the back of one door first. That way, if you don't like the look, you'll be able to sand it off without having to sand style cut details on the, door, on the door's front. Now, with the door lying flat on our drop cloth, we'll dip about a half an inch of the foam brush into the stain and brush the panel of the door in the direction of the wood grain. Lightly apply stain with overlapping strokes to the door's panel and frame. Be sure to get the stain to cover the panel cut as well as the inside and outside details of the frame. The longer the stain soaks into the wood, the darker the wood will become. However, longer soaking times will result in an extended hand wiping process. After about a minute or five minutes at the very most, wipe the excess stain off the door. Red oak, being a very porous wood, will absorb the stain into the wood's pores which will slowly seep out after wiping the stain off the door. Over the next few hours, excess stain will seep out of the wood pores. This excess stain will have to be removed by hand wiping. You'll be able to see this stain seepage as shiny spots on the wood surface. As the stain dries, these shiny spots need to be wiped off or they'll be visible after the lacquer finishing. The drying time for Minwax stains is usually a minimum of four hours, but it's a good idea to allow more time, especially in lower temperatures or times of higher humidity. I usually wait to apply the polyurethane the next day. After the stain is dry and all the stain seepage has been wiped off, it's time to apply the protective finishing coat, which is covered in our next video.